Hi, my name is Trevor Tysman from KBandsTraining.com, and today we're working the K-Bands Outdoor FX Advanced Series. With this workout, you're going to challenge your endurance, strength, and overall mobility through an array of exercises with the KB Power Bands, KB Duo, as well as the K-Bands. To begin this workout, you're going to need to find a place where you can mount the KB Duo and enough open area to complete some of the cardio exercises with K-Bands. To mount the KB Duo, grab the extension strap and put it over anything that you find that is sturdy. After you get the KB Duo set up, you're gonna place those straps about a foot and a half off the ground, right about your shin level. First, we're gonna be using this superset to get your heart rate up and challenge your legs. We're gonna be starting with single leg squats on the KB Duo. First, you wanna walk out from the KB Duo with your arms extended, don't worry about bending them or rocking from side to side, you want to be in a nice neutral position. Now as you pick which leg you want to start with, you're going to need to center your balance over that foot, keeping your weight centered, not more towards the toe and not more towards the heel, just right there in the middle. As we squat down on that one leg, you're going to place your opposite leg out in front to make sure that our body stays in line. Always working to sit back in the hips to work our glutes and our quads. One thing to really pay attention to on this exercise is that your knee is not going over your toe. If you start getting that, then we're not using the proper form and working the proper muscles. Now that you've got the motion down, you're gonna take that for five reps. As you complete your five reps, you're gonna move directly into that one-legged squat hop. This is gonna get you that big burn throughout your legs, and then we're gonna move over to the other leg to get those five slow, nice, easy one-legged squats into the next five squat hops to complete the exercise with both legs. Here's this heart rate element. We're gonna move directly into a KB Duo speed skaters right after you finish each leg. You're gonna be standing straight up with a slight bend in your hips and your knees, and you're gonna be jumping laterally as far as you can. The farther you jump, the more your heart rate will increase. A tip here in this exercise is to utilize your arms and shoulders. You want to be sure that you're using the duo to help stabilize on each one of the catches from side to side. Complete the KB Duo Speed Skaters for 30 seconds. So again, you're going five reps with just a single leg, then you're moving into the five squat hops on that leg. Switch to the other leg, complete that set, and move directly into those Speed Skaters for a 30 second set. This superset is gonna really put you over the top, increase your heart rate, and your legs are gonna be on fire. As you finish up those three sets, we're gonna be moving into our shoulders, back, and chest with the KB Duo hugs, as well as the KB Duo face pulls. With the Duo face pulls, we're really gonna focus on rolling our elbows up. If you're completing face pulls with your arms down here, we're not gonna get that same burn throughout our shoulders and our traps. So you're gonna roll your pinkies up, get your hands high, and take your knuckles close to your cheeks. That'll really help you stay right in line, okay? So this neutral grip, come up here, come to a big squeeze, squeeze your shoulders, and always resisting slowly on the way out. That's the big deal with the KB Duo. If you're completing reps where you rush to the top and don't take the time to come back down, really getting that eccentric pull, you're only getting half the results. So make sure that you're nice and controlled always on the way back and squeezing with those muscles we're focusing on. We're working supersets again, so we're moving right into the KB Duo hugs. Here you're gonna walk back from the mount, finding that amount of resistance that you need, either walking closer to the mount or farther away for less resistance. You're gonna be completing a hug, moving each hand over one another. So first rep will be the left, second rep will be the right, and the whole idea of it is you're working with someone, picture someone right in front of you. You're trying to work around that person to get a good squeeze in your chest. We've got 12 reps of each of these. We're going three sets with this as well. So keep your pace high because we're working different muscle groups on each of these exercises so we can limit the amount of rest and get you more results. Now remember, this is K-Bands Outdoor FX Advanced. So this next exercise is really gonna challenge you. We're gonna work with the inverted push-up. If you're not familiar with this exercise, take some time to get used to it, and then as week two, three comes around, you can start really just jumping right into it. But form is the most important part to prevent injury here. With the inverted push-up, we're gonna go with one leg within the strap. Slide that handle around so you can stick that foot in and you have a nice cradle position for you to begin in. 
get down in the push-up position underneath your mount and you're going to walk your hand slowly backwards. Now you can keep that other leg on the ground until you get to that position where you're ready to get inverted. But I would suggest as you begin, starting at a little bit lesser of an angle and then as you get a little bit more advanced, a little more comfortable with the stability factor, go ahead and back that up all the way as far as you can get up and you're going to be working the top side of your shoulders and your chest a lot more that way. With the inverted push-up, there's a couple things to focus on as far as your body positioning goes. You wanna make sure that you get both feet up there in a nice stable position, as well as a nice flat back. If you stick your butt up high, we're not gonna be able to maintain that level of stability that we're looking for. We're gonna work the trunk as well as our shoulders and chest. So if we can stay in that nice straight line, we're gonna be working our obliques and all of our stabilizers to maintain that position. With the inverted push-up, you're gonna be going between eight and 12 reps. I don't want you to go any farther than that because those 12 reps, you're gonna start getting a little shaky. And the most important part is that we don't get hurt here. We wanna stay under control. Now, as you progress and you get a little bit stronger, you can add elements of squeezing into it, okay? So as you get in that upright position, if you focus on squeezing your hands together, it's gonna to make those 12 reps even harder. If you're more of a beginner, go for those eight rep ranges. It's all about body positioning. If your tail starts to drop and you have a big arch in your back, it's time to call it quits. Work that for four sets. You've got eight to 12 reps for all four of those sets. Now we're getting deep into the workout. You're starting to get a good sweat. It's time to work a little bit of core and a little bit of that functional strength. Here we're gonna be working with three exercises all packed together. I made it real easy for you, so we're gonna keep our feet in to the duo for the entire three exercises. The first exercise, we're gonna be working with the KB Duo Pike. You can complete this exercise from both your elbows and your hands, depending on how much more muscle stimulation you wanna get. If you wanna work more shoulders and challenge yourself a little bit more, work from your hands. If you're more of a beginner trying to get into these upper level movements, then start working from your elbows until you get a little stronger. With the pikes now, you can hide some of that pull in your hip flexors. And we wanna really focus on not doing that, okay? This exercise is supposed to work your abs. So you wanna be thinking about your abs, making your abs lift your body up. If you don't focus on your abs and you simply just try to complete the movement, again, you're gonna feel more of that burn through your quads and your hip flexors. And we wanna utilize the duo for ab exercises because you're not gonna find that same kind of pull on your abs in any other exercise you find. You're gonna complete the duo pike for 12 reps and then move immediately into the push-up knee up. The push-up knee up is a simple concept. You're gonna be rocking push-ups and after each individual push-up, you've got a knee up, then you complete another push-up and you'll bring your other knee up. We're going just 12 reps there. The main thing to focus on is making sure that that back stays nice and flat. And if you are gonna fail on the side of air on below or higher, we wanna be a little bit higher that way that our core is in the right place to where we prevent injuries. If you ever let your body sag when you're doing suspended workouts, you're gonna feel a little bit of low back pain and we do not want that. We don't wanna compress those joints any more than we need to. Kick one of your legs out and get in a nice stable position. You're gonna be working with the kick out cross knee up. With this exercise, it's all about core strength and stability. You're gonna reach as far as you can with one of your legs, rotating your core slightly, reaching up and out. Now that you're in this split position, you're gonna focus on rolling that lower knee up and crossing to that opposite elbow. Really getting there, getting with that torque. So we've got shoulder stability, got all that squeeze in our core. Slower is better. Go for more of a squeeze than speed. We don't wanna use momentum here. We wanna really focus on squeezing our abs. By the end of this entire workout, this exercise is one of the biggest ones that's gonna train your abs. So we gotta focus here on all eight reps. When you complete your eight reps on one side, you're moving directly into the eight reps on the other. These three exercises are not only gonna focus on your core, but you're gonna feel a lot of shoulder burn. So take small little breaks in between if you need, but do your best to stay under that 30 second rest period because this whole set, we're working a little bit of heart rate as well as training that functional stability. Back to your feet, grab your KB power bands, and let's work on the setup with the KB Duo. Go ahead and take one of the clips off. We're just gonna need one arm strap here. You're gonna shorten that strap up to about your waist. Now remember, all you gotta do is push in the cam, grab the strap, slide it down, 
and be sure to lock that cam back in. Pull the teeth down, give the strap a little bit of yank, and then we're gonna make sure that that's stable and ready for our exercise. The first exercise is gonna be that single arm KB Duo curl. You're gonna have that strap out to the side and you're gonna be working to really pull your body up over your head and get this rotation point where we're getting above to the shortest point that our bicep can contract. Work with your foot positioning here. You can either walk farther away from the mount to make it a little bit easier or walk farther in to make it a little bit tougher. But the main concern is keeping this shoulder in line, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, and working to curl. And as we get here, then you're gonna rotate up as high as you can, all right? So we're staying nice in a nice plane here. Getting here, roll up, come back down, then you relax. We're gonna make reps real simple with these three exercises. We're going 10 reps here on the bicep, 10 reps on the other bicep, then we're moving immediately into KB Power Band's tricep extensions. Now we're working singles here, so start with either your left or your right, but what I want you to do is work on your foot position. Let's say we start with our left. What I want you to do is place your left foot slightly in front of your right and put the bands underneath that foot so that we can maintain good body position. Sometimes if you start with legs square, you're gonna end up arching your back through this exercise and we don't want that. So a simple thing for you guys out there to really focus on is with split feet, we can keep our body in line like this. Double feet, we're gonna start doing this and we don't want that. We wanna be right here. I got my weight on this foot. I'm in a straight line. I've got my elbow in front of my face and I can work upright in a nice stable position. We've got 10 reps again with the left and the right. Be sure that you challenge yourself with resistance. Remember, KB Power Bands have four sets with clips on each. So make sure you either load up the weight to fail at 10 reps, or you take off as many as you need to make sure that it's the proper weight to reach failure. Without failure, you're never gonna get any results. So it's time to really focus on getting that 10th rep and struggling all the way through. Now we've got a good bicep burn, we've got a good tricep burn. Now let's move into the lateral raises. Now you can complete this exercise with split feet, or feet side by side, but again, the same rules apply with body position. Don't let that back arch really work to keep your hips tucked and working in a slight front plane. What I mean by that is we don't wanna be complete here, here lateral, and the only reason we wanna focus on that is because we don't wanna be rocking out behind our body. So if we can stay slightly in front, it's gonna make it a little bit more natural for us to focus on our shoulders here. Bring these 10 reps up to shoulder height. We don't need to work any higher because that's not gonna focus on our shoulders any more than just bringing them here. We wanna stay safe and work the muscles the way that they should be worked. So we're working just to that parallel position and back to the floor. With these three exercises, you're gonna go from one to the other to the other as fast as you can. It's working different muscle groups throughout. So use as little rest as you can to make sure that you keep the pace high. This is a tough part of the workout because you're gonna be burning on these individual muscle groups, but it's important to focus to keep that time duration of the entire workout down. You're gonna need to push the pace through these three exercises. I know you're feeling the burn now, but now it's time to start incorporating some more cardio. Let's get your heart rate up and start shaving some fat as we've built muscle through the first half. Now it's time to really take it up a notch. Strap your K-bands on. We got the long band in the front, short band on the back, just to really get that extra muscle stimulation. Make sure those bands are just above the knee and we're gonna be ready to complete this next exercise. Give yourself a little bit of room. We're gonna be doing a high knee, one-legged kick to an inverted push-up. It's not a complicated move as soon as you get in the groove, but you might take a little bit of time to understand the motion and get your body in the right position before you start running these one-minute sets. First things first, you're gonna be completing the high knee. Really work those arms and work to get your hands up near your face. The more arm movement you have, the more calories you're gonna burn, the more cut you're gonna look. Complete these high knees for about 10 seconds. As you get through there, you're gonna land. Gather your balance, immediately give a little bit of a kick, swing that leg back through, bend at the waist, and get into an inverted push-up position. Now, the key is for the inverted push-up position is to leave your butt high. Don't flatten out like a normal push-up. We're trying to play off that inverted push-up with the duo we did. So make sure that you keep your butt high, give it a nice push, squeezing inward as we go. So you get your hands planted, squeeze in, give it a nice push, back up in the upright position, right into the high knees. Now again, you're gonna be completing this set for one minute intervals, you're going full rounds. 
you're gonna be sweating heavy, so make sure you got a towel near you to stay dry, but continue to do this 10 seconds, one push, 10 seconds, one push, alternating legs, and really push the pace. This full body exercise is gonna increase your heart rate through the roof. So use about 30 to 45 seconds in between these sets to catch your breath briefly and then get right back in. You're doing great pushing through the workout. We've got another cardio element coming up. Two exercises, we're going with the knee up. You've got leg back behind in a nice split position, hands above your head, drive your knee up as high as you can towards your chest. This is gonna help turn on more muscles and help you burn more calories. Working 10 reps on the left, 10 reps on the right, and then moving immediately into the next exercise. Split squats is where we'll be. Get a nice wide position, and you're gonna work to drive up as high as you can. The higher you jump, the more calories you're gonna burn. Remember, as you look to get more in shape, more fit, more cut, you have got to jump as high as you can on these type of reps. We've got to increase our heart rate in this interval style fashion to get more results. So get wide, get low, swing your arms, drive your body up, and get everything out of every rep. You've got three sets of this, not four like the last one. This one's going to be a little bit easier, but it's going to be more dynamic and more pace. So you're going with 10, 10, 10, about 30 to 45 seconds off, right back at it. You've just completed K-Band's Outdoor FX Advance. Congratulations, way to push yourself. Please feel free to leave us any comments if you have any questions or grab any of the K-Band's training equipment that you've seen in the videos here on the website.